Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video I'm going to be showing how to upgrade laptop computer memory. For this video I'm going to be doing the upgrade on a Dell Precision 5530 laptop. 5530 is particular because it uses Torx screws instead of regular screws. So you may need to set, pick up a uh, set of those type of screwdrivers. I got these on Amazon for about $10. Is the T4. So it actually also has two regular Phillips screws underneath this cover. So to save time on this video, I've already loosened the screws on the bottom of the case. And you can see when I remove the bottom here that there are two memory slots right there in the center. You would want to get a matching stick of memory and insert it into the second slot. And this just pops in. So while you have the case open, it's usually a good time to make sure that all of the other screws are tight and that you dust out around the fan area. So something I like to do is just take a regular screwdriver and anywhere where you see normal screws around the board, just make sure that they're nice and tight. So they're located in various places around the edges and in the center. And then you typically would hold onto the fan to keep it from spinning too fast and just blow out around there. Laptops typically pull in fresh air from the bottom and expel it out the back or the sides. So you can see how the airflow works in this particular model. How the vents line up directly beneath the fans. Some of the other components that are visible while you have the case open include your Wi-Fi card with the antenna connections your M2 solid state storage here. This is replacing or it has replaced hard drives. The typical hard drive found in uh, older model laptops. Pretty much everything is now going to use this M2 storage. Your battery right here. Also user replaceable. Not as easy as it was on older laptops but still replaceable. Um, processor, GPU, all of the core components are going to be underneath these uh, heat pipes here. So, once you've got the memory installed, the screws all nice and tight inside, the fans cleaned out, you would take the bottom of the case, press it back in, and then we can start reinstalling these screws. I like to start in the center and work my way out around the edges. I'll just pause the video for a minute here while I get these all installed. So once you have all your screws reinstalled around the bottom, the last thing you want to do is flip it over and power it up. Press F2 to enter the BIOS screen. There we go. And you'll see this message on the screen. It says alert. The amount of system memory has changed. Go into the BIOS setup. And under system information, you can see we now have two sticks of memory 
for a total of 32,768 megabytes or 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's a pretty good amount by 2020 standards. Uh, I'm sure by 2021 or 2022 this will be insufficient, but it's good for today. Um, there's some various memory testing utilities you can use. There's some built-in BIOS testing utilities you can run to verify that the memory is working correctly, uh, as well as built-in tools inside of Windows. But as long as the memory shows up here in BIOS, you're pretty much assured that everything should work correctly. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like it, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of videos on computer repair, car repair, stuff like that. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I will respond as quickly as possible. Thanks, and stay safe out there.